Hello everyone, today on Adventures with Paul we're playing around with the ring launcher. We've added a meter, so we got one of the micron meters. I have no idea if it's calibrated correctly, but I think we're right with it. It basically you set the software and it works. The other thing is a silicon controlled rectifier. The relay is long gone. We're using little relays. Whoops. We're using little relays in there to control to switch the thing, but we got this big SCR in here to actually close the circuit. Where those where those okay. schematics? So, all right. This is Rick. He's going to be holding the camera while I try not to kill myself. Old and new. There's old. All right. Real simple. Transformer 120 in, uh, 240 out, full wave bridge rectifier, center tap, resistor was right there. When you charge, the contacts are down, it puts the transformer to the caps through the coil. When you release the button, the relay de-energizes, you go to the normally closed contacts, and you get a dead short, so the caps discharge through the coil. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the relay is just trashed. Okay, same deal. We're going to there's the transformer. We're going to move the resistor to downstream from the relay. I got a relay here. It's still got the short on the normally closed side. So when we're off, we're discharging the cap, but we charge, and we have a silicon control rectifier right there. You'll notice we charge straight to the cap. There's three of them in parallel there. Um, the SCR will discharge through the coil. I believe I got my polarity right. If we don't and things blow up, you're never going to see this video anyway. When the relays de-energize, I got two of them here wired in parallel. I didn't bother showing the coils and the control button, but um, 12 volts in ground, when the relay's energized, it charges the cap. When you de-energize the relays, you flip over the normally closed, and that cap dumps to the control line on the SCR. This is going to get interesting fast. Okay, Rick is going to hold the camera. All right. And I'm going to stand over here when I go to release so there's stuff between me and the SCR because I don't know what the rating on the SCR is. I don't know its voltage. I don't know its current. We did some math. The thumper caps in there have an ESR of 0 0.665. You put three of them in parallel, three resistors in parallel, you divide by three, so your ESR is 0 0.22, whatever. We're going to put 300 volts across it. 300 volts divided by 0 0.022 ohms is 7,800 amps for a very short amount of time. Now, let's, let's, it, the SCR might die just on charging, so it's like that could be a thing. If you see things happening in there that I'll, I can't see from here, I'll let me know. Let you know. Okay. Here we go. And we're charging. And we're up to 200 volts. And we're up to 250 volts. I'm going to see, we should be able to get to 300 here. And there's 200 nut. It's like the charging circuit and the metering is working great. The meter will actually go up to 660. Okay, I'm going to fire the ring now. Ready? Mm -hmm. It worked. We're down to zero. That was actually pretty good. Now, the question is, did the silicon live? I'm we should be able to tell real quick because if I go to charge it and the silicon is a dead short, it means the thing didn't whip. Okay, we're getting voltage. Not yeah. Now, what this is telling because it didn't hit the ceiling, it's telling me that that SCR is providing enough of a voltage drop or resistance in the circuit where it's not, we're not getting anywhere near 7,000. I can tell you that right off because the thing used to just, okay, here we go. I'm going to look up this time, so see how far up we go. That worked twice. Try that again. Oh, I want to try a small one. Bounce this thing off the ceiling. 
Okay, that was a five and a quarter inch ring. Here we have a three and a half inch ring. Disc, rather. Okay, right, it goes right down to zero. I'm liking that. It's nice, that it's the first time we've had a meter on this thing. Usually you just count to 20 and then release. Okay, here we go, 300 volts. Bada boom, bada bing. Hey, we hit the switch. Just, just ticked off the, um, the girder up there. Any idea of how high the ceiling is? I think it's 20, it's either 20 or 25. I think it's 20 because our ladder will reach that far. We're down to zero right away. Gotta love that. Okay. Ooh, that means I can bring this back to the lab and make everybody happy. Okay, 300 volts. Bada boom. Whoa! Cool. Okay, I got a smaller one. The smaller one seems to be going higher. So let's go one more size down. Let's go on there. Let's go on there. I think these are actually glass. I'm not sure. Is that it? Okay, we got like four size discs. It's got to be like a laptop. Disc. I don't know what size that is. Okay. So one, one, I think some of these are maybe glass. They may not do anything. Which is fine because we've got to test it with no ring on it to make sure it dissipates everything nicely. And 300 volts. And bada boom. Almost caught it. All right. The SCR is definitely not passing as much current as just the raw contact closure. Right. I think these, I think these are glass. I don't know. We'll see. If it is glass, it'll just you'll hear the click of the relays, and no, it'll be nothing. It'll be just quiet. It's holding up well, though. It is doing admirably. And I got three. I got two more SCRs back in the office over there. So if this dies. Okay, that's obviously not glass. Okay, I'm going to call this a successful test. I'm going to be delivering this to the lab on... I have no idea. Probably this weekend. You turn off by hitting the movie button back there. Say